Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a simple arrangement that you can do in your own home. Now we're at the start of a new year, so it's nice to bring some plants into the house and maybe to not have anything too over the top, but something quite simple. So I wanted to just create something that basically anyone could do. So I actually went to the supermarket and I managed to get this beautiful little rose plant and I really, really loved this. Actually, this was from a DIY store and also a little cyclamen as well. So this is what we're going to use. And um, it's one of those things, it's how do you do something with a plant to make it more exciting? So what I've done is I've given them a good water so that what we create can literally sit and be enjoyed for 10, 14 days. Then you can dismantle it and do something different with your plant. So let's begin. So what I have here is I have a, a hanging basket and I just liked the texture of the basket, the dark colour, but we're also going to use this base and this base is quite important because it has fabric on it, then it's going to allow us to put materials on that's just going to sit. So with my hanging basket, we don't need this, but I don't want to cut it off. So I'm just going to pop that down into the bottom. I'm going to put uh, just um, an oasis dish in there as well. And we really want to put our plant down into that. But just to give it a little bit of a, a finish, I'm going to put a little bit of size all around it as well. So that is really just going to help make the colour of the actual roses just pop a little bit. And uh, I do like sisal, but you've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, it's very easy to add loads and actually you can have too much. It's one of those things. So we know we're not going to need to worry about watering this. Now, what I have is I've got two different types of cane here, uh, kind of long brown ones. They're kind of soft, so you can break them. And also this dried material, which I think is maybe the, the pieces from dates. So I thought this was really interesting, really nice texture. But what we're going to do first is we're going to just add our long canes. So we might as well just cut these into pieces first. And the great thing with this basket is we've actually got the ability to add materials through these, these pieces. So we can do that. And this is actually, this basket is one of these kind of plastic uh, rattan garden jobs, you know, this kind of new material that's being used for garden furniture. And I do like making things where you can make something and then reuse the container and reuse the container and reuse the container uh, and do different things with it. So in the summer, this will definitely be out hanging at the front of the garden. And I'm just wanting to build up like a framework around our round our plant. So the plant itself is not particularly big, but we can make the whole thing look bigger by creating uh, a bit of detail around it. So essentially I want this to be the size of this whole space with really the feature being the textured collar that we're going to create and also the roses as the focal point just in the centre. I just saw these little roses and the other ones were nice, the, the exact same ones were nice, but that one was just perfect because all the flowers were sitting at basically the same height. Um, and this is something that you need to look for the one that suits your purpose. So now we can really just add our sticks. Now, if you wanted, you could have a glue gun, you could glue these, you could make this much more permanent, much, uh, 
much more strong in lots of ways, but in some ways, what's the point? Because with it being a plant, we're not wanting this to last forever. It's not going to last forever. So essentially, to make something that's kind of permanent is a bit, a bit daft. We might as well just make something that is quick to put together, fun, and uh, not a big problem. So really, I just want to lie these on. Now, as I say, if you wanted, you could make it more permanent, but really, we just want to build this up and make a bit of a feature. So obviously this would be quite nice on a low table uh, or definitely on a table that you can either looking down into it or you're able to see this feature here, this detail here. So I'm just trying to put these all at different angles, different ways. And the more we add, the stronger this is going to become. So last year I got uh, straight down and bought a whole load of plants for the house. And I think actually in the springtime, doing that is a really good idea. It really, um, it seems so bare when you take away Christmas and you don't have a Christmas tree and uh, you don't have the presents and suddenly you've got this space and what are you going to do with it? So, get yourself some plants. And the great thing with these little roses is if you do look after them and they're, they're happy, you can then put them out into your garden as well. So this is what I'm hoping with this little rose is that once the arrangement's finished, now it's better with the little roses if they're in a cooler place. If you've got a very hot house, then you might want to look for a different type of plant. But I'm hoping to keep this a wee bit cooler, enjoy it in a cool room, and then um, overwinter the plant and have it for going into the garden. So as you can see, the more materials we add, the more interesting it's becoming. It's also easier to get things in at different angles. And obviously you can adapt this to suit whatever materials you've got, whatever plant, plant you get as well. You could add moss, you could add little leaves, just see what materials you have. But what essentially you're doing is making a frame. And that's where this cloth base is allowing us to hold this material. Do where that one came from? So in a way, doing something like this is quite therapeutic. You can just really take your time, add your materials. Now, if you wanted, you could strengthen these bigger sticks with uh, a little bit of the, the paper covered wire, the bind wire. That's gonna give you a little bit more strength. 
But actually having that basket allowed us to get a bit of strength really just from the fact that it's catching on to the actual basket, which was great. This is the only thing. It's trying to keep the whole thing clean. Okay, so we've got our frame and now we can decide how we're going to add our cyclamen. So what I've done is I've actually just filled a few little test tubes and um, the test tubes with the water we can just drop in and then we can take our little cyclamen Nice clean cut, we can take a leaf as well. Or a couple of little leaves. And we can just add our little flower to it. So we'll, do, we'll take that. So actually cyclamen. I really work well as a cut flower. You can actually buy them as cut flowers now. And um, it shouldn't be something that we should be scared of using or cutting. So sometimes actually cyclamen plants can become a bit scrappy. So if you see one, maybe even in the reduced section, it's a brilliant opportunity to get a plant that you can cut and chop and um, the foliage is beautiful as well. So it just gives a little element that we didn't have before. And the little leaves give a little detail that makes a nice contrast to the rose. So the rose on itself looked a little bit mean but we could actually have filled that with maybe three rose plants. This is the terrible thing, you get to a certain age and you need glasses. And uh, it's such a shock to the system. And it doesn't help if you have them on your head. So we could even add our little test tubes lower down as well. Just make sure that they're secure. But really, I just wanted to share with you this idea of taking a plant and decorating it in some way to make it into a lot more than it originally was and add interest to it. And you don't always have to have the most expensive plant. Um, I think it's so easy that we're kind of it's so easy to get an orchid, and orchids are beautiful. Um, but sometimes you think, oh, well, to make something special, it has to be a special plant. Well, they're all special, really, so we just actually rotate what's seasonal and uh, enjoy the seasonality of flowers and plants is a really good way to work. Again, this structure is really just holding these little uh, cyclamen flowers. And we might as well use them all.
As long as the flower is in water, it'll be quite happy. Yeah. And there we go. We have... <laughs> yeah, it looks like a big nest, I know. But essentially, we've got an arrangement that's quite interesting and quite different. Now, if you wanted, you could take a little bit more off the teasel and just add that on. So again, it's just giving a little overlay. Be really cautious on how much you use because we don't want it to end up looking too messy or too, yeah, too fancy. So there we go. We've got a really funky modern arrangement that is a little bit different. Uh, a simple garden centered plant, uh, but we've taken it and created a bigger arrangement with it and just one other plant. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, click here to subscribe and uh, we hope to see you for our next video. Take care.